Hello and welcome to today's episode about the blue-white screen. We will explain what it is and how it is performed. Let's start off with some basic things like transformation. What is transformation? DNA transformation is the process during which a plasmid or vector carrying a specific gene of interest is transformed into another cell, often bacteria. We can see here we have a plasmid which is a circular bit of DNA and in orange we can see the gene of interest inserted in the plasmid. The most common used bacteria for this process is E. coli. What happens if we transform a plasmid into bacteria like E. coli? We can insert this plasmid via heat shock for example and then the gene of interest is transcribed and translated into proteins. This was just a little short explanation of transformation and we need this to explain the blue-white screen. The blue-white screen is a screening technique which is one of the most common used techniques for detecting recombinant bacteria. It is used to check whether the transformation process was successful or not. We are going to start off with a normal bacterium. So here we see the genomic DNA on the right and the plasmid DNA which was inserted via heat shock for example on the left. And for the blue-white screen we used the fact that one of the proteins or enzymes is built up from two different types of subproteins. One is usually transcribed and translated from the genomic DNA of the E. coli and the other one, the alpha unit, is only transcribed from the plasmid and only together they form the active enzyme called beta-galactosidase. Here on the right we can see a prepared plate. This plate contains X gal and on X gal plates we can see blue dots um, and these represent colonies of bacteria which have this enzyme called beta-galactosidase. If there is no functional beta-galactosidase we see only white colonies on the X gal medium. This is just the background information to understand the upcoming design of the plasmid. We have a plasmid here and in orange you can see the ampicillin resistance. We usually work with the ampicillin resistance cause Ampicillin is an antibiotic and with the gene that allows the bacteria to live on ampicillin medium we can know okay these bacteria they contain the plasmid and this is the first thing we should know. The yellow sequence on the plasmid represents the LACZ gene and this LACZ gene will produce functional beta-galactosidase later. These are the two main components of our plasmid. But now we have to make sure that we also detect the restriction site. This plasmid is designed so that we have a restriction site at the end but in the sequence of the LACZ gene. In biotechnology we can use restriction enzymes to cut specifically at the restriction sites. Here you can see during the cut a part of the LACZ gene will go missing. The DNA insert is designed so that it can easily fit into the restricted site. Once the DNA insert is inside the plasmid, we call it recombinant DNA. And as we said earlier, now the sequence of the LACZ gene is now not completely present. This was due to a part that went missing during the restriction. So we conclude, we have our plasmid now, this carries a ampicillin resistance and we have no LACZ gene anymore and we have the inserted DNA and we can call this plasmid recombinant DNA. We remember from the introduction that if we place bacteria that have a functional LACZ gene, a functional beta-galactosidase on X gal plates, we should expect blue dots. But since the LACZ gene is missing here, what we will see is white colonies. In the laboratory, in, in real life, a screen would rather look like this. We have a plate, this contains X gal and ampicillin, making sure that only bacteria with a plasmid will survive. And then we will find blue dots and we will find white dots. And these dots represent the colonies of bacteria. A white colony means we have successfully made recombinant DNA. 
A blue colony, on the other hand, means there is no recombinant DNA. And now we can selectively use the white colonies and place them on a different plate and work with them since we know our DNA insert should be contained on the plasmid. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this little introduction to the blue-white screen was helpful for you. If it was, please give this video a like and I hope we will see each other next time.